and this is Voice of a Creative and today I am going to do a sew over it fabric and pattern haul. Now I haven't, I've decided not to do a July pattern and fabric haul this month because I've done uh, two other videos which are mini hauls that I got from various events and other than that the fabric that I'm going to show you today is the only other fabric that I've bought. So I have been relatively good compared to the last two months um, but that's mainly because I haven't managed to sew through all of that fabric yet and so I'm just going to show you the things that I got from Sew Over It this month. So let me just tell you about what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing my Sew Over It Ultimate Wrap Dress and this is in a polyester jersey that I got from Fabricland. It was part of the Sew Together for Summer Challenge, one of my wrap dresses and I will post the link to that video down below so you can go and see more on what I thought about the pattern. One thing I have realised is it does gape quite a lot on the centre here, so I've put a little pin there to keep it together, um, but that's something that I'm going to have to think about in the future so it doesn't gape quite so much because I feel like it's going a little bit low. Um, so I've had to put a, a, add a pin, a little bit of decoration. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the fabric I bought. So this is a fabric that I've been looking at online for a while, so I do look at fabrics for quite a while before I buy them which sometimes means I miss out on the fabric but it just means that I actually know that it's definitely the fabric I want to buy because actually I've bought some fabrics kind of a couple of years ago like in the past and when they've arrived I've gone oh I'm not too sure about that or I've bought a fabric in a fabric shop and then when I haven't thought about it and so I think it is just important to actually think about what you're buying and Actually, if you are getting to a point where you've got loads of clothes or you've got loads of fabric, maybe only buy fabrics that you absolutely love. And this is a fabric that I absolutely love. So I'm going to show you. So this is a rayon jersey. And it's this beautiful emerald green colour with these tiny with these tiny little uh, patterns on it. I think it's called Verdant Tile. Um, on there, I will pop a link below to it. And basically, I love that it's green. I can hardly find any green fabrics, and whenever I do see them, I, I do usually buy them. Um, and it's got just a really cute little pattern. So I thought this would be really lovely for the summer, but also to, also suitable for wearing tights in the winter. And I bought a meter and a half, so that should be enough for one of my normal dresses that I make. Although there are a few other patterns that I've had my eye on that I might get or I might hack another one to make it look kind of similar. But yeah, so really love this fabric, really looking forward to sewing with this. Just need to make sure that it's the right pattern for it because it is quite drapey um, and quite stretchy. Um, so I'm going to think really carefully so not too much um, top stitching and things with this I think. So that was the first one, that's my fabric, and now I'm going to tell you about the patterns I bought. So there was a 30% off uh, weekend, I think, and I actually bought a few patterns. There have been a few that I've been wanting to buy for a while, but I haven't. I've been thinking about it and thinking about it. So when I saw the discount weekend, I just went ahead and bought them, because actually it's not often you get a chance to buy stuff with a discount like that. So the first one that I bought was this one, so I've printed off the these sheets. So this is the Eve dress. Now this is kind of the wove a woven wrap dress pattern that Sew Over It do. And during the Sew Together for Summer Challenge, so many versions of the Eve dress were hopping up and every single time I saw one, I looked at it and I said, oh, that looks so cute, I really want that. And so I decided to just go ahead and buy it. Now I don't really sew in woven fabric so much, but I have been a little bit more recently um, and I would like to get back into it because it's just another thing, a bit more of a challenge. Um, I originally sewed all the time with woven fabrics, but since I kind of found Jersey, I mostly sew with that now because I just find it easier <laughs> for me. Um, so that's the Eve dress. So it's this one with the gathers on the shoulder and you could choose to have it with this kind of flutter um, draped sleeve or you can choose to have it with the straight sleeve as well. And then it's just a wrap round um, overlaid skirt there. Um, I haven't made this yet. Um, I've just been trying to get the extra bits and pieces that I need for it because I need to buy some stay tape. Um, but I have got a fabric in mind for this. 
and I am really tempted to buy some like crepe or some rayon or something like that. I haven't worked with those before and so I'd be quite interested in the challenge of doing that. But I'm going to make it up in like a cotton or a cotton lawn first and then give it a go in one of the other fabrics just when I've got the pattern right um, because I know I've heard that they can be a bit of a challenge to sew and I don't think that I want a challenge of a new pattern and the challenge of a new fabric at the same time. That seems quite scary. So that's the first one, the Eve dress. So I've actually been looking at it for a while, but it's the Sew Over It My Capsule Wardrobe, the City Break collection. So there are a few patterns in there that I thought I would like to make, but also ones that would maybe develop my skills. And that is what I'm looking for from patterns now to just try and kind of develop my skills. And I will be doing some videos about each of these items as I make them over the, over the summer and during September. So if you're not familiar with it, I'm just going to go through the patterns that I've got with that. So I got the Molly top and Molly dress. So this is just a grown on sleeve with an extra part so you can make it as a top or a dress. And it's just got the rounded kind of bottom and then it's rounded at the back. So that's a jersey top pattern. Now I'm not always so sure about the grown on sleeve, but I think because this is quite closely drafted to kind of your armpit there, it's slightly tighter. Um, I'm gonna give it a go and see how it turns out. But I am really looking forward to the curved um, bottom because actually I always struggle with my jersey tops and the curved bottom a little bit, so I can use the pattern for this. And actually, as just a hanging around kind of dress, I might make it come out a little bit wider for this one and then put a belt round. But I think this would be really cute for a kind of a weekend wear. So that's the Molly top and dress. The next is the Lola coat. So this is this really cute draped um, coat. And it's got a really interesting um, layout. So I watched the video that uh, Lisa did on the Sew Over It channel. And I'll link that below. And it's got a really interesting pattern, so I'm really interested to know to see how it pieces together. And also, I've never made a coat before, so I thought that this one would be quite a nice one to start with. I'm not sure what fabric I'm going to use for this uh, yet. I don't have any fabric that it will work with at the moment, but um, I'm going to have a look around and try and pick something up around relatively cheaply for my first go, and then I'll be looking at uh, more expensive wool or something as it comes into the winter. The next one is the Mia jeans. So that's just a standard pair of jeans. Um, it's got the fly in there, but no front pocket. Um, and it does have the back pocket. And it's just out of a stretch denim. So I thought actually it's an easy pair of jeans to try out. That would be um, quite a nice one as well. So that means I've got two jeans patterns. Um, the one that I bought um, last weekend. And then this one to give uh, a go over the summer. So I'll definitely be telling you some reviews about those two as well. Then this one, which I'm really excited about, is the Alex shirt dress and shirt. And so this one, um, I really love the vintage shirt dress, and that comes in at the waist. But this one hangs straight down, and then you kind of add a belt or a tie or something. And since I made the honeycomb dress by Kokowawa Crafts, I actually really like the idea of adding a tie to just bring the waist in. So I'm hopefully going to make the long shirt version and it means that I get to practice my kind of shirt and collar techniques but I'm going to probably take it with a shorter um, sleeve but yeah I'm going to give that one a go because I thought that looks really cute um, to make and I'm kind of getting more into that style of clothing now. And the last one is the Erin skirt. So I'm not so sure about this because this is a tighter fitting um, skirt and I don't tend to go for tighter fitting skirts. But I think as something to experiment with, um, a buttoned skirt with the darts and things, um, I'll see. But otherwise it might be useful to make for some people in my family or friends and things um, anyway. But yeah, so a really cute collection of patterns and I'm looking forward to making those. The last thing I bought was the Coco jacket. Now I signed up to the PDF club and if you sign up to the PDF club, you get a pattern for free. So it's £5 to sign up to the the PDF club and I decided to get the cocoa jacket for free 
um, with that. Now in school there is a teacher who wears this really beautiful jacket and it comes in here and it comes down and it's like quilted in this lovely white fabric and every time she wears it I always um, look and really want to make a jacket that's kind of similar to that and the cocoa jacket is a very similar um, neckline so I will put a picture of what the cocoa jacket looks like um, on the screen so you can see but it's kind of a higher neckline that comes straight down the front it's got seam lines at the sides here and then you've got your shoulder so I'm hoping that I will be able to find maybe a Ponty jersey or you it is a woven fabric but I always make uh, woven uh, patterns in jerseys um, I'm hoping to find like quite a light color jersey maybe a Ponty jersey that I can just make this um, jacket with to give it a go because I think wearing that to school would be really good as well as wearing on a weekend with a pair of jeans and things um, so I'm going to give that a go and you can crop it so it comes to your waist which I think it would be really good for me in terms of emphasizing my waist just to help give me um, a bit more shape um, there so that's a, another one that I bought as well so I've bought quite a few patterns um, but I'm really pleased with them and it's going to be good to give a few new things a try so a coat a jacket a pair of jeans and so my summer sewing plans are suddenly uh, mounting up quite a lot thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please click the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me goodbye